two, three, fuck it. Good afternoon everyone, it's Garrett and today we're going to guys a new Photoshop tip video and today we're going to be going over smart objects inside of Photoshop CC and uh, they're really important to learn, really important to use in your work because it's really professional, helps clean up a lot of space and it's also very good when you guys are making you know, text logos, branding identities, everything like that and it's used a lot in mockups and I really want everyone to know how to do this. So of course if you're new to Photoshop, definitely stay tuned for this video because you're going to learn a lot and it's going to be very helpful and useful into your next work. So to break it down into you know a very simple form is what is a smart object and basically it's kind of like its own layer that if you double click onto the thumbnail it's going to bring you to a file that you can edit by itself and then right click and save and basically that'll just save it to the work and then all the work that's using that if you guys have ever used a mock-up what you do is you double click on that smart object and it'll bring you to kind of where you place your logo and you can just basically put it right there and then come back and just save it and it'll bring it to you. And it's very hard to explain without showing you guys. So right now I'm going to just kind of pretty much put it all together and basically go through step by step how to create your smart object and what it's used for. So we're going to be going over two examples in this video. We're going to be going over an overlay that I made a little while ago and also kind of this little three circle shapes that I just put together very quickly. And both are very useful to both serve the same purpose, but of course they're used for different things. So definitely pay attention right now and all we have to do is basically take our overlay or take whatever we're making, maybe it's a Twitter header, maybe it's your own logo, and have everything grouped into one thing. So you know I have my corners pieces put onto this overlay, I also have all the bars and stocks that I have, and it's all pushed into one grouping and one kind of folder right here. So all you want to do is right click on it and go to convert to smart object. Click on that and it's basically going to do this little loading scheme and then you're going to have basically the same exact thing except for right here now you have this just straight up overlay and if you didn't notice anything that changed there's not a folder now but however there's going to be a little square right here and also a little file symbol so now that's a smart object and all you want to do is double click on that smart object thumbnail and it's going to bring you to a new layer that just gets created and what it is it's going to be your kind of smart object and where you can kind of change things you want and put it together so of course I'm just going to put a black back on very quickly for you guys so it's not so bad. So I can zoom in right here and I can go in, you know, open up this file. Let's say I want to take, you know, that stock out and maybe actually I want to take it, let's just say I want to move it around. So I'm going to take it over here this time and I want to save it this way but I don't want to keep saving it through every file that I'm using this with. All I have to do is go to file and it's right here where it says save, just click right there or hit control S and it's going to save everything and then you go back to the original layer and it's actually going to be changed. So it's very cool on how that works and also I know I have that black background so that's going to show. So if I just take away the black background, click save again and go back, it's going to be totally gone and you can see that the file moved itself and it's really universal, you know, I can take it and I can put it into different layers and do the same thing. So that's one example that we can use it for. Another one would actually be for kind of symbols and logos. So let's say this is going to be my new branding logo, let's just say it's something else and uh, we want to put it into its own grouping and then make it a smart object so I can use it, I can change it for different things that I want to put it on and I can basically use it for however I want. So all we want to do is group the layers that we have a part of the logo, hitting control G. We can of course name it, so I'll just label this circle logo. I'm going to right click on the file click to convert to smart object and it's basically going to do the same exact thing and all we have to do is right here is click on the double circles and we're going to have this huge kind of mock-up of it and then also where everything goes so you can see I can just quickly change my red circle to let's say a purple I can change my green to let's say an orange and maybe I can change the blue to a red so I have, you know, a very different kind of mock-up that I had before, total opposite colors. And all I have to do for this is just click file and then click save. And basically when we go to our original thing, it's just it's a straight up change. And I can do this over and over again. And it's just very easy and very convenient because if I actually put these into a bunch of other layers, like if I'm doing a lot of branding stuff for a client and I want this client to have, you know, a bunch of other resources and we keep changing things and he wants to see it on each individual thing, creating these smart objects can extremely help out your work. So you can see that it just changes automatically, but it's really helpful for creating your work and it's really easy to do with, you know, 
let's just say a text logo so I'm gonna create a simple one really quickly and if you guys haven't noticed that Photoshop actually was updated to Photoshop CC 2017 so if you guys want a video on basically what happened and what's new let me know in the comment section below right now but here's gonna be our example of what we're gonna be doing and let's just say we're gonna have their design as our text we're gonna make it a little bit bigger so I can see it and we're gonna have let's just say a new layer We'll take it with a black rectangle right here. Something really basic. You know, I can, let's just say, rasterize this text layer. And basically take it, and I'll delete it straight out of this. So I just have, you know, bare, and then my design is in this. And let's say I wanna just kinda make this a smart object so I can change what I want and I can mess with it however I want. All I have to do is group these two, right click and convert to smart object. And so now when I double click on this, it brings me to this layer. And uh, let's just say that I wanna you know, open this layer up and I wanna change my design color to let's just say red. And basically mess around with how that looks. So I can put this like that, go to file and save or hit control S. And then once we click on the text, it's actually changed. And like I said, it's really useful when you're making a lot of things just because, you know, you can put it in the bottom left hand corner. You can make like an app design. You can make a web design for a client. Also social media designs, all bunch of stuff at once and have this logo centered in the middle as a smart object. And let's say the client wants you to change the color of the text and you can do it with all of these. So it's really good for multitasking and really good for the brain that you can actually do it so easily. So that's going to be all the examples I have for you guys today. If you can like this video, that would mean a ton. If we can break around, let's just say 90 likes on this video, it'd mean a ton for me. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and this tip video. If you guys do like my upload schedule and would like me uploading as much as I can, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below or email me on Twitter or whatever else you want to do. But basically, that's going to be it for today's video. Make sure you leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn my alerts on, and I'll see you guys later on. Peace out.